Hello everyone and welcome back to another Die Cash Review, yet another 124 for the Xfinity Series. This is Noah Gragson in the number 9 of Bass Pro Shops for the 2022 season. Now Gragson has announced that he will not be returning to Xfinity Series in 2023 because he's going to the Cup Series for 2023. So that's, I mean, it's pretty cool. I hate how he's going so soon because like, he's such a great driver, dude. And he's my favorite, so... I'm happy to see him move to the Cup Series, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know. If I was doing that well in the Xfinity Series, I would probably stay for a little bit, but I don't know. I mean, I don't, I'm not a driver, and I'm, I'm not really too sure how uh, these drivers kind of think and, you know, how the thinking process is, but either way, fantastic paint scheme. He's had it since 2020. He won the first race in that scheme, Daytona, of course, back in 2020, so uh, that was a pretty cool little thing to happen and he's gotten countless not countless but he's gotten a quite a bit of more quite a bit of more quite a bit more uh wins in this paint scheme to say the least because this is his primary paint scheme and i think this is his only paint scheme actually so yeah pretty cool little car here for gregson of course it's just like elliot's car from 20 20 right 2020 maybe 2021 I'm not really too sure, but it's just like Elliot's scheme, and it's in the number nine also, of course. But uh, the silver and uh, the silver is white on Elliot's, and then the blue is camo. So either way, freaking amazing paint scheme. So let's go ahead and get this out of the box. Go ahead and just pop this bad boy out of here. Now I will be making the. I want to say it's Daytona. I'm not really too sure, but the, one of the crashes he had, I want to say it was Daytona, where he hit the wall, absolutely ripped the front end off of it. Rip the back end off of it. All kinds of stuff. So, yeah, we're gonna definitely going to be uh, taking a look at that. So, here's the diecast of the box. Again, fantastic diecast. This is the first Noah Gregson uh, diecast I have in the 124 scale. And, of course, I'm not keeping it. I'm selling it uh, specifically for Martinsville. That way I can go back and, you know, just have some money to for gas and whatever. Uh, the hotel tickets, all the good stuff. So, yeah, going to kind of try to make up for that if I can, but we're going to get this bad boy off of the base and take a closer look. Here is the die cast out of the box. Now, I am actually going back to the Xfinity race for Martinsville uh, here within the next coming weeks, so I'm really hoping I get to see Gregson win that race because, like, oh, it, mean, it would mean so much for Gregson to win the race for me. Like, that would be, oh, that would be so awesome. It would be, obviously, not as good as Bowman winning, you know, Martinsville and seeing that in person. I have not done that, but I would love to see him win sometime, eventually, <laughs> hopefully, before he retires. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, this is going to be a pretty good uh, custom. I love making the customs in the 124 scales. And if I, if it's a favorite driver of mine, I try to put more detail into it. Or if it has something to do with one of my favorite drivers. But I don't know. I'm going to try to put a lot of detail into these next two uh, customs coming up here very, very soon. But again, back to Gregson. I would love to see him win. That would be fantastic. He almost got the championship last year. But he smacked the wall and then lost all of that momentum and didn't win. Which was quite unfortunate. He was doing really good at Martinsville earlier this year. And then he got tapped and spun around. Again, very unfortunate. But I'm telling you, I would love to see Gregson just, oh, I, will, I want him to get that win so bad. Now, I don't know if I'll, like, make a custom, like, race version if I see his final race at Martinsville. I, I don't know. It just kind of depends. But, again, a race win from Lionel would be very, very nice. But, you know, uh, hopefully that comes uh, later on within the next couple weeks, but I guess we only have to wait and find out. But here is the paint scheme. We've seen this paint scheme before. Again, like, as I said earlier, we've had it since 2020. Pretty awesome paint scheme. Just Elliot's car. Basically, again, it's got the same uh, that same style, number nine. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's orange. Got the white uh, on the Elliot car. This is silver. The blue on the Elliot car. This is uh, like that Black Rifle Coffee camo, and it looks fantastic. Like, if Gregson were to never, ever, ever change this car, I mean, obviously he's leaving, so he's not going to be racing the number nine, but, like, as I don't know, say he ran this scheme for ten more years, I wouldn't get bored of it. This scheme is really cool. I love the camo combination. Again, it just looks really nice, and it's really shiny, too. Nice, uh, nice finish on it. Like, the uh, Myatt Snyder had a metallic finish, or a matte finish, I'm sorry. This one's got a metallic. 
Got that metallic silver, got a nice gloss finish over the camo. Just looks really good. So we got true timber camo right there. It looks like the tee's a little messed up. Black Rifle Coffee, uh, Johnny Morris, of course, Bass Pro Shop's got the camo going all the way around. Oh, dude, just, it looks so good. Got Gregson right there, Xfinity also. Then we got up here on the roof rail, of course, you got the little, or not the roof rail, but on the roof, got the little camera there, got the number nine, roof flaps that unfortunately do not deploy. Black Rifle Coffee there, Gregson right there. Uh, let's see, this is den number 406 out of how many? 504, so a, a, a late production run on this here. Uh, true timber camo right there, of course it goes underneath the shark fin. That's the first time I've seen that happen. So you got the camo all the way around the back, looks really, uh, really good. True timber camo right there as well, of course you got the bow tie, uh, Camaro got the exhaust, then you got some of the, ooh, some of the decals over here, just kind of Scooting over to the other side, that's not fun, but again, it's going to be a race version, so it don't really matter. Got the number nine there, got the fake exhaust pipes, which literally nobody likes, so, you know, <laughs> there's that. Got the black spoiler back here. On this side, uh, Black Rifle Coffee Company, uh, True Timber Camo, got the tires right there, uh, Brant right there, and then, of course, got the black side skirt. That's kind of a newer thing for the scheme. I think in 2020, they only had a silver uh, side skirt there. No Graxon NG, of course. Bass Pro Shops got the American flag out of Salta. Uh, safety Clean. Don't know what that one is. I think it's a, that's a team. Oh, no, it's not a team. It's not a team. Uh, I don't know what that is. Miller, SEM. There's the team. Uh, junior Motorsports down there. So you got NASCAR Race Car, NASCAR Xfinity Series, Mobile One, and AARP there. I think, actually, if I'm not mistaken, this one does not have the 50th anniversary like on the front. If I'm, I'm just now noticing that. So what probably happened was Lionel got the word that this would be the paint scheme for 2022, and then later on they uh, added that for the beginning, and they just wasn't able to change it because it was in production for so long. So I'm not mad at Lionel for it. I just, I mean, I wish it was on there because that would have been really cool to have, but, I mean, you know, it is what it is. It happens. not really a big deal. Again, this thing's going to be freaking torn up all the pieces anyway. Uh, Camaro right there, got the number 9, Simpson and Sunoco down at the bottom. Got a silver spoiler there, or not spoiler, spoiler there. Looks really good. Uh, headlights look a little wonky up towards the top, but it's not a big deal. Uh, Bass Pro Shop's there once again, of course. And let's go ahead and pop the hood, just to see what we got working with underneath. Nothing too crazy. I do like how high the hood sits. It looks pretty good, or how, how high it raises, I guess. There's your interior detail for the engine block. Not a really whole lot going on there but it's in there then of course you got Wix and then Chevy up on the uh the hood there so again a really nice paint scheme it's just like uh not not Byron just like Elliot's but I would prefer Gregson's over Elliot's pretty much any day of the year once again this will be made into a custom both of them I'm talking about the Myatt Snyder of course both of them will be thrown up a little different they'll be like a day apart from each other but nonetheless uh, yeah, I'm going to try to sell these to get a little bit of money for Martinsville. That way I can kind of have some traveling cash, you know, if I need to stop somewhere, I need to get gas, stuff like that. So we're going to shoot for that and then try to have a good racing experience. But either way, uh, this is going to be pretty much all I have to say for this die cash review. Again, look out for the custom version of this. I'll be releasing it here very soon, just kind of whenever I get that done. I still have to do Junior's race version as well. If I... I mean, I might go ahead and just sell, like, the junior race version. I'm not really too sure. I haven't done it yet, but I may just kind of throw that up there, you know, just for poops and giggles. But either way, this will be all for this die cash of you. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.